Hi folks, here we are again with something a little bit different for you now. Sharon found this in, uh, where was it? Where'd you get it from? Tesco's. Tesco's and it is donut kits. In the air fryer we're gonna try these. We've never done it before folks, but we're gonna bring you along and let's have a little go. Apparently everything's in this box. So let's take a look. Well, you just gotta add unsalted butter and water. Not everything's in the box then, no, folks, is it? I got that wrong, no, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> right, let's have a look at the ingredients. Here are the ingredients for the Tesco donut kit. The pack contains 150 grams of donut mix, one sachet of yeast. You need to supply 10 grams of softened unsalted butter and 80 milliliters of lukewarm water. Oh. Right, so let's, let's get it out. That's all you get in there, folks. Look, great big box like that. Yeah, it could have been half that size, the box. You it? get a packet of dried yeast inside it. And this is obviously the, the flour, or call, they call it the, the, the donut mix. There's 150 grams here. Do they give a date on there? April 2023. 20, no, not a date, sorry, not a date. What am I talking about? <laughs> date. And I said it! What, man, you said it? Do they give you a quantity, which it does All it is, is a donut mix with yeast, sugar, and sweeteners in there. Ah, I see. So normally, you, if you were making these yourself, you you do flour, butter, milk, egg, and sugar, but that's just a little. How much does this cost, Sharon? One pound twenty say. It was in the reduction centre. Yeah, so we. No stopping. I don't know if oh, they're stopping doing them or. So we're just trying them out, folks. So yeah. what are we doing, then, baby? Come on. It says we're going to add the yeast to lukewarm water and stir. That will be eighty mils of water. I see. Let me get that sorted for you. Eighty mils of lukewarm water. Right, so with the water, folks, don't have this water too hot. We just, when they say lukewarm on the instructions, we've got the water there and it's probably about 29, 30 degrees centigrade, which is literally lukewarm. So that's our water. All that becomes in the box, as you know, is the powder mix and also the dried yeast. So first of all, baby, we've got to mix the dried yeast with that warm water, haven't we? Yep into a jug and we'll put in our 80 grams of water. Now all that no, does... 80 mils. Sorry, Mike. We put in our 80 mils of water and we'll just mix that and then we stand that to the side for the moment, folks, and let the uh, yeast dissolve in the water. Right, we're just going to go and soften this butter in the microwave now. So that's literally only needs to go on about 10 seconds, baby, doesn't it? Well, you can see actually when it's melting. Yeah. Noise, there we go. Let's have a look at that. That's all we're looking for, folks. So, now we're gonna put the dry ingredients in our bowl. Now, it's preferable if you've got a, an electric mixer with this, folks. A lot of people do it in a, a food blender, but um, this is all we're using. So, just tip the ingredients out of the packet into the, uh, the mixing bowl. We're gonna add in the butter and also the yeast mixture as well. And apparently, you've got to mix this for six minutes, Sharon. Yeah, that's it. Makes the dough, isn't it? Of course it does. So we've got these dough hooks on there, folks, as you can see. Probably be hard work to do that by hand, baby. Good dough, isn't it? And just bring that together until it forms a dough, folks. So this is literally just a little trial, just to see how donuts work in an air fryer, folks. Now, we all know what deep fried donuts taste like, and the ones you get from the seaside oh, and stuff lovely. like that. So we're just going to do simple sugar coated donuts here, not the glazed ones. I mean, you can be as inventive as you want when you're making the glaze, but we're just checking the principle that donuts come together and rise in the uh, air fryer. Right, folks, that's it. Turn it off, shall Well, believe it or not, that's six minutes. But uh, as you can see, although all the pay all the uh, flour is all mixed up. It's still all in little bits, that's probably due to our mixer. So when you put your hands in there and squeeze it together, it's actually formed a nice dough. So we're just gonna lightly flour the uh, workshop now, folks. So, right, now different ways of doing this, folks. We're just going by what it says on the box there. Grow your dough out until it's uh, probably about a centimeter thick. You don't wanna go too thin with these, folks. Okay, so we get our cutters. And we're just gonna cut our shapes out no, now. We're not getting 12. Is that what they say, 12? How um, big would you say? Five centimetre cutter. That's probably about a seven. That's probably about five. Yeah, I'll tell you that was about a five. Let's say you get 12 of them out of that. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. 
So one, just cut as many as you can out, folks, then re-roll the dole out. One, can't we? So cut the middles out. They look a bit thin. Yeah, they look a bit thin, but never mind. Well, they've got to prove. Cut now, the middles they? out. As I say, we've never done this before, folks. So you're learning with us. But I can't say you can get twelve out of that mix. No. Right. So there's three of them, folks. We'll carry on cutting them out, and then we'll come straight back to you, baby. Right. Okay, folks. So they do say you're going to get twelve out of that shab. We didn't get twelve, did we? We've got nine in the bowl. We've got nine, and we're going to try that last little bit there with a round donut. So we've got to prove these now for an hour, and all we're going to do is just lightly baste our uh, bottom of our kasuri XXL, just with a little bit of a uh, softened butter, just to make sure things don't stick. And we're gently going to place them uh, rounded ring donuts. They look quite flimsy, actually, didn't they? So we're well, just going to. They've gonna... got a rise, haven't they? Yeah, well, they've got a rise. They're supposed to double in size, apparently, folks. So you've just got to let the uh, yeast do its work. That's why they've got to sit for an hour. So we've got nine in there. We'll just stick it in there anyway, folks. We'll just put it in the middle there, shall it? Don't matter, does it? We'll make it a bit for sausage. We'll make two of them. Break it in half and break, make two smaller, smaller ones. There's no rules here, is there? We're making the rules up, shall aren't we? So we we'll just stick them in the middle. And they could be like little, um, what are they called? Donuts. Mini donuts. Yeah, donut balls. Of course you can. Right, so we're just going to stick that back in the air fryer. And with this packet, they do say leave it in a cold oven for an hour. So we're not going to turn it on, we're just going to leave it there. And we'll come back to you in an hour's time. Well, folks, we did what they say. We left them in for an hour, but what happened there after an hour? They were exactly the same. They didn't even rise, folks. So Sharon said, why not use the keep warm function on the kasuri and we've put them in there for how long did we put them on there for about 20 minutes so far so 20 minutes on there and we're just going to take a look at it now folks see if they have risen at all well they've risen a little bit let's say that they've risen a bit more than what they was before so they do sort of look like a donut but um not like the picture yeah no not like the picture though so we just put them back in there like that i don't know what you moved them for sharon i turned them over oh you turned them over yeah. okay and we're just going to give them a little coat of butter, folks, just to give them that little bit of a glaze. And again, we're having to wing this now because uh, we've done what it said on the box and it didn't actually work. So, so we're just showing you that not always things happen as they uh, are sure. supposed to happen. Right, OK, so they're going to go back in the air fry now for their proper cook now. I don't think they're going to raise any more than that. And we're going to put them on for... It says on there, we've got our air fryer conversion chart here. 180 for 10 minutes. So we so go 180 degrees. Pan. So we're going to put it on for 160 for eight minutes. There we go. And we'll see what happens with that. Who knows, baby? I don't fancy one now. It's took so long. <laughs> <laughs> and we have got an audience, folks. We've got baby Frank. We're babysitting baby Frank, aren't we? What's that in your mouth? <laughs> and also... Merlin's here as well. Well, they've been in for six minutes, folks. We're going to have a little quick peek in them now, just to have a look. We haven't touched them or turned them over or done anything. Let's have a look. Right, let's have a little look, folks. Well, there we go. That's it. I think they're actually cooked, Sharon. Let's have a look at the underside. No, they don't look like donuts to me. <laughs> More like bagels. <laughs> yeah, but I think our holes are too big, aren't they? They're very small, aren't they? It's not even the texture of a donut. Oh, well, we'll find out in a minute, won't we? I no. don't wish to put my name to this. Well, it's a test shout. We're testing out these, and does it say what it says on the tin? Or do they look like what they look on the tin, so to no. speak? Right, well, get one out first we'll of all. Out. Get one out. Let's, let's put a bit of uh, butter on the top of it. Just have a little look, folks. Again, this is all new to us, so uh, mm. we've never done these before. And let's dip it in the old uh, sugar. I don't think you need the batter underneath, shall you? You've got to do, turn it round, did not you? Do you? We have sugar on toast. Of course you do. Still, there's not luck. <laughs> <laughs> let's get a plate out, folks. Right, we just put them on a plate first of all. So let's get that sugared one off of there. So we're going to go ahead, folks. We're going to sugar these up. We're going to coat them up with butter. And uh, then, obviously, we'll give them a trial afterwards. So there we go. We'll see you in a minute. Right, folks. So that's what we are supposed to look like on the box. Shocking. <laughs> it's the reality of it. I'm ashamed. I know we've got the wrong size hole in the middle, but even that so, make no difference. it doesn't look like that. I'll give you that. So what we're going to do now, folks, we're just going to give them a try. Go on, baby. Go in for one. Are they cooked in the middle? Mm. They are cooked? Yeah. What's it taste like? Battery. Right. I can really taste. It's butter and a bit crunchy for donuts. Right. Okay. 
Yeah, try the ball. The ball might be better actually because it's more of a sort of a, a, a squishy donut size. Oh, that looks a bit better. That looks a bit better. Let's have a look at the inside the of that. The ball one. actually tastes better than the. There you go, folks. So if they would have puffed up, they might have been all right. Look at that. Look, look. Make balls. Don't... Yeah, make donut balls. Don't make donut rings. In fact, don't buy the donut kit. There you go, folks. Yeah. So basically, it is a, basically a review of this actual kit itself, and uh, it doesn't look like that, folks. You can just see that we've done everything. The only thing we've done different is um, made them the holes make a bit bigger in the middle. But the, the rising of them, when you, when they're thicker, they are. But just open that one up again, shall? I actually thought when they rose, it would fill the holes in a bit. Yeah, which it obviously hasn't. So there seems to be a problem so it's rising. Got, it's got the texture of a donut. Yeah, look, the texture is absolutely perfect when you do them in balls. But no way do you get twelve out of that kit, and no way do they yeah, look you like get twelve balls. You get twelve balls, maybe, yeah. But no way do they look like that on the box. So there you go. So rather than rely on a kit like this, for example, one pound twenty, you could probably make that flour batch yourself, can't you? Mm. And make a bigger quantity and actually make them a lot thicker as well. Not too sure about that yeast. That yeast doesn't seem to have risen. Well, uh, I just find it odd when it's yeast and you, when you make bread nets, it's always a warm oven, yeah. somewhere a warm place like your airing cupboard. Not cold. I find that very odd. And it makes it says on there, do it in a cold oven, leave them for an hour. And they only started to rise once we put them in there on yeah. a very low heat. Anyway, that's just our experience of them, folks. That's not how we're going to make donuts. We just thought we'd bring that to you. Not everything goes to plan, and uh, I'm ashamed. We won't be we won't be making these again or buying this again. No. We thought it just might be something interesting to I bring to you. I just see them, and I thought you've asked for donuts. We'll just try that. No. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out our other playlist as well, where we cook proper food. We're relying on ready-made food here. There you go. And Stitch it your homemade it stuff. It didn't work in our Perhaps way. we might try later on donuts from scratch. So thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye. Bye for now.